So Blue's Text Air has now officially come out for the Apple Silicon Mac. So it was in a period of beta testing for quite some time, but its full release is now today. And if you didn't already know, Blue's Text Air is a method of playing hundreds of different Android games on the M series Apple Silicon Mac. Games like Genshin Impact, Pokemon TCG, PUBG Mobile, Minecraft Bedrock and hundreds of other different titles. But we now have support for Fortnite as well. And this runs beautifully at 60 frames per second on a Mac. And one of the big advantages of running it through BlueStacks Air is the fact that we have keyboard and mouse support as well as Vulkan support. So Vulkan is a graphics API, which basically allows many of these games to run even faster on the Apple Silicon Mac. And in this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to install BlueStacks Air. And first thing to remember is that this is completely free to use. So there's no cost involved at all. Secondly, what we're gonna be doing is showing you how to install the Epic Game Store, and then how to install Fortnite after that. I'm gonna show you how to configure BlueStacks Air to get the best performance. I'm gonna show you how to make use of keyboard and mouse support, as well as controller support as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and download BlueStacks Air. I'm gonna leave a link to this at the top of this video description, so make sure to click on that link. Every time someone downloads this for absolutely free, it's gonna to help to support this channel and the content that I create. So once you get to the website, we're gonna click on the Download BlueStacks Air button there, and this is gonna download this onto our Mac. Next, we're gonna to go to Finder and then open up the PKG installer. So this will be into Finder under our Downloads folder. Just double click on the Bluestacks installer.pkg. Then we'll just press Continue and then Install and then type in your Mac's password and click the Install button in order to install this onto your Mac. It's saying Writing Files here. Just let that continue until it finishes. Once the installation is complete, you can go ahead and press the close button. If it asks you what to do with the installer, just go ahead and press the keep button or you can move it to bin if you want. Then just go to finder and then go to your applications folder and then find Bluestacks. So that's the Bluestacks, not the MM version. And just go ahead and double click on that. And it's gonna launch its intro video. So you can just go ahead and watch this just to get a feel of what to do once you've installed it. And now we've got to the home screen where we're now gonna go ahead and install the Epic Games Launcher. So what we're gonna do is go to the Systems app menu here, and then we're gonna open up the Chrome browser. So once the Chrome browser is open, just go ahead and do a search for Epic Games Store APK, and then we're gonna to go to this link, Download Epic Games for Android, click on this. And then we're gonna click on Install on Android. And then this is gonna allow us to download the latest APK, press Download Anyway and it started to download, then press the open button and then install this app. Then we're gonna press done. And if I press the home button up here, then we have the Epic Game Store here. And we're gonna open this up now, press continue, get started. And we are gonna go ahead and sign into our account. So just press sign in. Then we're gonna type in our email address and password. Then we're gonna press and accept the end user licensing agreement, press accept. We're gonna continue with our account. And now we're logged into the Epic Games Store. So you can go ahead and full screen this. So let's say we wanna do a search for Fortnite. So we can find Fortnite here under games from Epic. And then can press this cloud button here to press the download button. And it's gonna go ahead and start to download for us. If you get this error message, you can just go to settings and then we're gonna allow apps to download through unknown sources, and then we're gonna allow Fortnite to install. Now we're gonna press open, and now the Fortnite game is gonna open up for us. So it says here to run Fortnite on BlueStacks Air, we work around 16 gigabytes of RAM and MacBook Pro or a Mac mini. So now we can see that we're downloading this. So just wait for this download to complete. So now it says here, log in with Epic Games. So I'm gonna click on here, and then we're gonna continue with our Epic Games account that we had earlier, press continue. So now it's logging in. We're gonna accept the Fortnite user licensing agreement. So we can choose whether we want notifications, press not now. Now this is loading up in landscape mode. We can choose voice reporting if we want to. And now we're logging in with the correct account and this is season three. So we can go through all of this stuff through the battle pass. And now this game is loaded up. So before we get started, one thing I recommend doing is changing the CPU allocation to four cores, changing memory allocation to something as high as possible. So I've got 48 gigabytes on my MacBook Pro, but if you only have something like 12 gigabytes, going for less than half of your RAM allocation, so high or enhanced, and then change this to high performance mode. Under display, I recommend switching this to something like 1080p. So this is a lower resolution, and then we're gonna go ahead and start the game. So I'm gonna load up Fortnite. 
And one thing that we should do is go to our profile icon here and then go to settings and then change some of the settings. So I recommend switching this to 60 FPS and I would normally want to start at a low quality preset just to start off with, just to make sure that this is running as well as possible. This is going through a translation layer, so you want to get as much performance as possible. Next, we're going to go ahead and play a multiplayer game. So we're going to play Battle Royale and uh, we're going to press here to queue up. So if you want to get your mouse to lock to the screen, press this button, which will toggle this. So this is the tilde key on the left of the one key on your Mac keyboard. So basically you can see on screen is that you have a bunch of keyboard keys mapped to the touch controls of this particular game. So one thing that you can do is to toggle this by holding down shift and then tab, and that toggles this off and then on. Another thing you can also do is to pair up a controller and play this with a gamepad. So just make sure to go ahead and go to Bluetooth settings on your Mac and then pair this up. I'm using an Xbox Series controller. You can also use a DualSense controller or any other Bluetooth controller and then it should all work with Fortnite. And controls using the controller aren't too bad. Here I'm actually able to even use vehicles and it seems to work just fine. So anyway, what you might find is that when you first start off a game, it might be a little bit stuttery, just kind of persevere through it. After a few minutes, it's going to become a lot smoother. And of course, if you're running this on a higher end Mac, the performance is going to be even better than if you're running this on, say, a MacBook Air. So anyway, that is my tutorial on how to get Fortnite running on the Apple Silicon Mac using Bluestacks Air. And there are actually far more games that you can run on this, including games like Minecraft Bedrock, Pokemon Unite, etc. So if you want to find out how to do that, then make sure to click on the link at the top of the video description. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.